people talking about not being able to control the frizzies and right now we're in the middle of a very hot and humid spell. Jason, you couldn't have come at a better time. Welcome. Yeah, good morning. So what do we do? Well, what do you do? I mean, it's, um, I think you have to look at it again intelligently. You've got three elements here. You've got curly hair, you've got frizzy hair, and you've got wavy hair that's not really straight, not really curly, and kind of gets confused about what it wants to do. So, if we deal with the frizzy first... Okay, let's deal with the frizzy because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing lots of talk about frizzy. Well, frizzy hair, it, again, it, it, the hair has to go back to being shaped properly. Then you've got the element of when you're washing it. A lot of people, when they wash their curly hair and when they're doing it, they make the one big mistake. As soon as they get out of the shower, they towel it dry and rough it all up, and you don't get any shine from it, you don't get any curl from it, you just get frizz. So, the way of handling this is, when you're washing your hair, you really have to wash it really, really well. Do not wash it too often. Make sure you put a good conditioner in and do not rinse it out so the weight of the conditioner will keep it down. Well, d just a minute here. You're not going to rinse out the conditioner at not 100%, all? Not, not 100%. Not 100%. Because no. otherwise you're walking, or, oh, you're walking around with, it's sort of like you spill it's yogurt kind of sticky. in your hair. Yeah, no yeah, kidding. This is true. Um, but people who know themselves to have curly hair and know how to handle it, they will always leave the conditioner in. Or part of it in. Part of it in. And then rinse it out because that will keep the weight of it down. So you now, wash it, you don't you don't towel dry it. You do not towel it. You squeeze it, dry. it maybe a tiny little bit. You squeeze out the excess water. Put the conditioner in. Put the in, conditioner in. Rinse out a tiny bit. Rinse just out enough, a little bit and, and then, then comb it into shape. Do not touch it unless you're diffusing it. Do not make that mistake of putting a blower to it. The blower is just going to rough it up. You have to be patient, and you have to let that hair dry by itself. Well, you know, I think most people have always thought that if they let it just dry on its own, it would get frizzier. So this is like you're debunking a big myth here. Yeah, on the contrary, it does not. It gets frizzy because you play around with it too much. Now, we're talking about Caucasian hair here. Right. Um, it, it gets, it'll get frizzy if you keep playing around with it. Do not touch it. Just leave it or diffuse it. Okay. Now, that is for somebody who suffers the frizzies. But for people with curly and wavy hair, does the same thing apply? No. Curly hair, it kind of applies the same thing. You can, in both of those cases, you do need to put a styling product in. And if you're going to put a styling product in, please make sure it does not have any alcohol in it. Really? It'll dull the hair. It'll do all sorts of things to it. It makes it crispy, it makes it crunchy, and it doesn't feel it, it doesn't feel like hair anymore. It starts to feel brittle. And on a whole, curly hair is brittle as it is. So you've got to you've got to make it feel soft. You've got to make sure the curl comes in without disturbing anything. And when you've got when you've got this thing with wavy hair, wavy hair is wavy hair. So that's when, in all three cases, the most important thing is that haircut. So you've got a shape in whether it be long or short. And also remember, I mean, you know, you're going to your hairdresser. <clears throat> he should be giving you this advice too if he's any good. But also, or she is any good. But also remember when when cutting curly hair, you can take half an inch off or an inch off, and it will shrink two inches. Really? Yeah. It, well, it me just not does. having curly hair, I wouldn't know that. So are you saying not to, not to trim it? or I'm saying to trim it, but if you're going to a hairdresser, that hairdresser should know that if you want, if you want an inch off, it is going to shrink two inches to two and a half inches in the end result. It just bounces up. There's less weight pulling it down. 
We are uh, talking to uh, Jason Cairns, our hair expert. People commenting, Jason, that this is awesome, a guy with no hair giving hair tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, but he is the expert, absolutely. Um, if you have any questions, people that are watching us on Periscope, please uh, type them in. And remember to uh, follow us and share, because we broadcast our great guests daily. Now, Jason, I use argan oil. Like this morning, I knew it was going to be humid and, fr and frizzy, and you know my, my hair well. Mm -hmm. So I just wet it, and I put some argan oil through, and I've just got it back in a, uh, in a clip. Um, but I find when I do that, and I let it out at the end of the day, it looks wonderful. That's because you're controlling it, and you're not playing around with it. The argan oil happens to be a little bit heavier mm -hmm. than, let's say, some of the other oils. Um, it's a great product to use. I still say that you mix that with your conditioner when you uh, when you're putting it in. You um, mix. Oh, you mix. Well, mix well, you, well, well, you've got your you've got your leaving your conditioner in, and you're rinsing it out. Do not rinse it out too much, and then put that argon oil in. Mm -hmm. Oh, before the hair is dry. Before the hair is dry. So let me ask you this: What about when people go to sleep? Is there anything when you're sleeping that you can do to 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 get it to be less frizzy or 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 is it just the same? It, it's all about the washing and the drying, not it's about what you do after that. Exactly. It's about the washing and the drying. Uh, when you go to sleep, if you're going to sleep with wet hair, it's going to get messy. Some people with straight hair, actually, or slightly wavy hair uh, that's long, they will go to sleep, they'll wash their hair, they'll go to sleep, and they'll put it up in a clip, and in the morning they've got this wonderful full hair. That's but, what I do, but I do that. I put a clip right here That's at the right, crown. that's right. Uh, just, but it's really. But that's because not I don't a. With, but your hair's not really curly. But so, if you're going to have somebody with curly hair, that's going to make it really big. Because when you go to let it down, you take that clip out, and it's kind of dry. It's just all bunched up, all bunched up on top. Now, Catherine uh, Hogan is on. She's saying it's good, good advice about the no towel dry. Who knew? But one of the things that we've heard a lot about is this new plopping technique where, where people put their head, they use like a t-shirt to sort of plop their hair down and then wind it up almost like a turban and let it dry in that. Is there, is there a difference between like the thickness of the, of the material when it's just absorbing? Well, it should, it should, if you're going to do that, it should be kind of like a cheesecloth or a cotton and t -shirt, most t-shirts are cotton. Right. Um, yeah, it, it, it can work. Um, it doesn't work on everybody. But again, you remember when it's up in the t-shirt, Again, you're not touching with it. You're not playing with it, and it's being protected from the pillowcases or whatever you're sleeping in. What is so, it about? Is it something in our hands? Is there some oil in our hands that that, that upsets our hair? That it goes it goes my, curly when we touch it. I mean, it, you, keep, my, it, you keep going back to if you touch it. Yet you can have a T-shirt on it, and that's not a problem. Well, you've got the T-shirt on, but remember the hair's concealed. You know, confined in the T-shirt. And it's not getting disturbed while the T-shirt's there. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're not messing around with it. It's like you. If you get your hair blown dry or you put it in rollers, the more you play around with it, the more, the more messier it's going to get. Well, I've been with people who literally, their, their hair is perfectly normal. Mm -hmm. They walk out the door. You walk down the street with them. Ten minutes later, they, are, they look like a Brillo brush. That would be me. She's referring to. Okay. <laughs> and they so. can, they can, there's they haven't touched their hair. There's okay, nothing. Okay. Vegan well, gal. This is vegan gal is saying I've heard you can use paper towel to help uh, reduce frizz and static. You can use the paper towel to to kind of extract water that's in the hair, mm -hmm. excess water. But in the same turn, if you take out too much water. You are also disturbing everything so that it doesn't get a chance to dry in a form that you've put in there with curly hair. Let's say you've got curly hair and use your fingers to curl it with before while it's wet. And don't touch it. It will stay in that form. So later on, when it is dry, you can pull it out a little bit so you've got this volume and you've got this great shape. Ooh, I didn't realize that. Mind you, I've always been wanting to have curly hair because I don't have it. Well, There's that's the thing. Most people have straight hair. Want... hair. Yeah, exactly. Straight hair, they want curly hair. Yeah, curly hair, want straight hair. You have Everybody what wants... you don't want. But, I mean, tell us about this curl thing. So, if you've got curly hair and you want to really make the best of it, how do you do if that? It, if it's long enough, 
you, you, the same process. You'll wash your hair. You'll put your conditioner in. You'll put your styling product in. A styling the, product being... Um, well, there's one in particular which I mousse? love. Is, which a is or No, the, the, like so any sculpting lotion that doesn't have okay. any alcohol in all. Okay. You've all got right. cream products that will curl hair that okay. doesn't have any alcohol in. Okay. You, put, you put this in your hair. You comb it through. And then you'll just sit there and you'll just start twirling your hair, twirling it around. So which is the product it. you like? You said you, there's one you really, really like. I, I'm a great... It's a very old product, but I'm a great fan of it, and that's the Joico Ice um, Sculpting Lotion. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's always worked. I've never... It's never failed. In actual fact, even my daughter, she's got very, very curly hair. She'll use that, and she'll use the Joico Ice Whip, and she'll dry it, and she will get perfect curls in her hair. So a person with curly hair, if they do what you say, which is to put the conditioner in and the and then the, the Joico product, yeah. it won't dry curly on its own without you playing the, with it with your yeah, fingers? What the sculpting lotion will do, it almost makes it slippery. It almost feels like it's slippery. And it will form a better curl. So the better the... Better the, the better the curl is when it's wet, if you're not touching it, the better curl you're going to finish up with. Okay. What about if you get um, caught in the you know caught in the rain and you know, it, it's I have sometimes I think I should put hairspray on. Sometimes I think no. that's just going to make it gooey. What's your take on the, that? The hairspray is just going to put more static into it. It's going to put more alcohol into it. Um, I, what I say is wet it even more, comb it into shape, and let the process start all over again. You just let it dry naturally. Mm -hmm. And don't, uh, don't play with it. The trick is not playing with it. Not playing with it. Okay. Yeah. So now, you know, you've got situations where we're talking about curly hair. We're talking about long hair. Then you've got curly hair that's short. Right. So, you know, there's, there's other elements to that when, you, when you're dealing with it. And that is, you know, if you've got really short curly hair and you let it dry naturally, it just shrinks very close to the head. It will shrink close to the head. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to pull it out after and just shape it. And, you know, you can put waxes in and things like that. Or brilliant, I prefer using a brilliant team because it's got more moisture into it. Mm -hmm. Or you can blow it dry with a small round brush and do whatever you want with it. But um, short curly hair, you can play around with more than you can with long curly hair or long frizzy hair. Mm -hmm. Because you're not disturbed, you're, you're, dis you're controlling the curly hair with the brush when it's short, and with the long hair, if you start putting the brush through it, you're just going to create this massive volume. And, and if worse comes, comes to worse, <laughs> yeah. you can just put a hat on, right? Or a bandana. I don't know. <laughs> you can you can put it up no, in a I hat. Know. I mean, it's the same as the t-shirt thing. If you've got curly hair and you wash it. And let's say you put it up in a baseball cap and you just clip it and put a baseball cap on and let it dry. It'll take longer to dry, but you will still get that, you'll get that volume, but it's got to be wet to start with. Yep. It's got to okay. be wet. I mean, honestly, when this dries and it's still, it's still wet, when I take it it'll out... It'll take a day to it, dry. Yeah, it'll take... It's unbelievable. <laughs> Even out, it takes a, a long time, but then if I just let it out of the clip tonight and run my fingers through it, it looks, it looks great. It looks like I've, you know, had it styled into a wavy style. So I'm, I'm very happy with doing it, which Jason said just... I think it's a blessing to have curly hair. Mm -hmm. Because people with curly hair can blow, it, uh, can blow it dry straight. And it'll look great. Mm -hmm. People with straight hair, you try and make it curly. It's, um, it's a lot more work. Oh, oh, trust me. Forget the work. I mean, I have tried this. And it doesn't and it always looks last. No, no, it doesn't always... My hair curled will last exactly tw 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and then it will completely fall out because it's too heavy. And Yeah, and a, just... lot of, a, lot of, a lot of mistakes that people make yes. when they're trying to make their hair curly. And now we're, we're talking about curly hair. Now we're talking about people trying to make their hair curly. Is, and they'll blow it dry completely straight. And then they want to put curl back into it. Yeah. Well, you're defeating the purpose by blowing it dry mm -hmm. straight and then trying to put curl in it. Then, in that case, you can blow it dry very rough with a dryer. And then put your electric rollers in, or your steam rollers, or, or Velcro rollers, or a curling iron, and make it curly. You're watching What She Said on YouTube. So if you've got curly hair, and you want to really make the best of it, how do you do if that? It, if it's long enough, 
you, you, the same process. You'll wash your hair. You'll put your conditioner in. You'll put your styling product in. A styling you'll, product being... Um, well, there's one in particular which I love, is, which is or no, the, the, like so any sculpting lotion that doesn't have okay. any alcohol in, or okay. you've all got right. cream products that will curl hair that okay. doesn't have any alcohol in. Okay. You put you put this in your hair, you comb it through, and then you'll just sit there and you'll just start twirling your hair, twirling it around. So, which is the product it. you like? You said you, there's one you really, really like. I, I'm a great. It's a very old product, but I'm a great fan of it, and that's the Joico ice um, sculpting lotion. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's always worked. I've never, it's never failed. In actual fact, even my daughter, she's got very, very curly hair. She'll use that and she'll use the Joico Ice Whip and she'll dry it and she will get perfect curls in her hair. So a person with curly hair, if they do what you say, which is to put the conditioner in and, the, and then the, the Joico product, Whatever, yeah. it won't dry curly on its own without you... What the, with it with your what the sculpting lotion will do, it almost makes it slippery. It almost feels like it's slippery. And it will form a better curl. So the better the better the, the better the curl is when it's wet, if you're not touching it, the better curl you're gonna finish up with. Okay. What about if you get um, caught in the you know, caught in the rain and you know, it, it's I have Sometimes I think I should put hairspray on. Sometimes I think no. that's just going to make it gooey. What's your take on the, that? The hairspray is just going to put more static into it. It's going to put more alcohol into it. Um, I What I say is wet it even more, comb it into shape, and let the process start all over again. You just let it dry naturally. Mm -hmm. And don't, uh, don't play with it. The trick is not playing with it. Not playing with it. Okay. Yeah. Now, so. you know, you've got situations where we're talking about curly hair. We're talking about long hair. Then you've got curly hair that's short. Right. So, you know, there's, there's other elements to that when, you, when you're dealing with it. And that is, you know, if you've got really short curly hair and you let it dry naturally, it just shrinks very close to the head. It will shrink close to the head. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to pull it out after and just shape it and... You know, you can put waxes in and things like that, or brilliant. I prefer using a brilliant team because it's got more moisture into it. Mm -hmm. Or you can blow it dry with a small round brush and do whatever you want with it. But um, short curly hair, you can play around with more than you can with long curly hair or long frizzy hair. Mm -hmm. Because you're not disturbed. You're, you're, dis you're controlling the curly hair with the brush when it's short. And with the long hair... If you start putting the brush through it, you're just going to create this massive volume. And big if worse comes hair. to yeah. worse, yeah. you can just put a hat on, right? Or a bandana. I don't know. <laughs> you can you can put it up no, in a I hat. Know. I just mean, it's the same as the t-shirt thing. If you've got curly hair and you wash it, and let's say you put it up in a baseball cap, and you just clip it and put a baseball cap on and let it dry. It'll take longer to dry, but you will still get that, you'll get that volume, but it's got to be wet to start with. Yep. It's got to okay. be wet. I mean, honestly, when this dries and it's still it's still wet, when I take it it'll out, it'll take the a day to dry. Yeah, it'll take. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Even out, it takes a, a long time. But then, if I just let it out of the clip tonight and run my fingers through it, it looks it looks great. It looks like I've you know had it styled into a wavy style. So I'm I'm very happy with doing it. Which Jason said just. I think it's a blessing to have curly hair mm -hmm. because people with curly hair can blow it uh, can blow it dry straight, and it'll look great. Mm -hmm. People with straight hair, you try and make it curly, it's, um, it's a lot more work. Oh, oh, trust me. It, forget the work. I mean, I have tried this. And it doesn't and it always looks last. No, no, it doesn't always. My hair, curled, will last exactly tw 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and then it will completely fall out because it's too heavy. And yeah, and a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of mistake that people make yes. when they're trying to make their hair curly. I know we're, we're talking about curly hair. No, we're talking about people trying to make their hair curly as... And they'll blow it dry completely straight. And then they want to put curl back into it. Yeah. Well, you're defeating the purpose by blowing it dry mm -hmm. straight and then trying to put curl in it. Mm -hmm. Then, in that case, you can blow it dry very rough with a dryer. Mm -hmm. And then put your electric rollers in or your steam rollers or, or Velcro rollers or a curling iron and make it curly. 
and you'll still keep volume. But why is it, if we ever figure out why everybody wants what they don't have when it comes to hair, probably... It, it, you know, it's rich. not just with hair, it's with everything. If you don't have money, you want money. <laughs> if you've got money, you keep saying, it's not about the money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's so many... So you, are you so telling me that if I had the long legs, you see, when they went down the line, somebody grabbed six inches of leg that belonged to me. Mm -hmm. You're telling me that if I had that extra length on my legs, I would actually say... Oh, I just wish I just wish I were shorter. Well, you probably say I wish I was a bit shorter because all the men I meet are short. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I Good was answer. Good, Good answer. Good okay. answer. Thanks, Jason. We're going to sign off on on uh, on Periscope now with those tips. So leave the conditioner in, a little bit of argan oil if you want to keep the frizzies out. Don't touch it. Let it dry yeah, naturally. You've got to let it dry. Yeah. Click the channel subscribe button for full-length interviews and more from What She Said here on YouTube.